Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. Today's segment is sponsored by my good friends, Bezalus. That's right, www.bezalus.com. The leaders in online watch, watch blogs. And uh, they have become an integral sponsor. They've decided to sponsor my channel and they send me a question which they want me to uh, present in a video format on the Archie Luxury channel. And uh, th this is to help them with their blog. So I encourage you to go and take a look at the bezealous.com uh, website. And uh, they, they, they've actually been sending me some really interesting questions. Today's question is, Arch, this segment subject is, what do you do when you find yourself disinterested with watches and your watch collection? Do you buy, sell, settle, paint the fucking walls a different color? Very, very interesting question. What do you do when you find yourself disinterested with watches and your watch collection? <coughs> and uh, I gotta tell you the honest truth. I gotta tell you the honest truth. I was a bit disinterested, okay? I really have been a bit disinterested. And uh, what do you do? Fuck, that is a very interesting question. And my advice really is, my best advice to you is stop! Don't liquidate the collection. Don't do anything silly. Slow down, slow down. Quick whist watch check. Jago Le Coultre Reverso Grand Date. What do you do? So my, my best advice is slow down. We go through life and there are times when the hobbies and interests we have, they take a different path. And, you know, my, my problem is this, okay? I've built, you know, a reasonable collection. I, uh, I went through so many incarnations. I had the Archie 5. Before that, I had um, about 10 or 8, 8 pieces. You know, that's when I had the, the, uh, the AP, PP, VC, and I had, the, you know, I, I, had, I had a collection. What do you do? What do you do when you lose interest? And uh, I think the best thing you do is slow down, stop. Don't make any rational steps. Just slow down. If you've built a collection with really nice, timeless pieces, it's really not a problem. And what you can do is you can grow with that collection and selection. So in my case, I've got my beautiful Reverso Horterology piece, my high-end piece. I wear it, enjoy it. At the moment, I've got my Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon that's in the bank safe. Yes, I'm looking forward to wearing that again. My X Rolex Explorer 2, it's another piece I'm looking forward to to uh to to wearing again. And I got my gold Rolex Submariner. That's right. Yes, I know I did the the Satan Deville video. No, no, that that's just a bit of comedy for you people. See, I I am a method actor. And uh, I actually do own those watches. So <clears throat> I look at things and, and I, I, at times, you can't just be interested in watches, watches, watches. And I mean, I mean, take, take, take a look at my, uh, my bookshelf here. I've got books on watches, watches, Rolex, Royal Oak, Rolex, Rolex, Cartier. I've got Patek. I've got so many... You know, this is really a big encompassing hobby, but there are times when watches give me the fucking shits. There are times, and i got to be completely honest with you. I mean, I looked at Basil Dazzle World, and fuck, fuck, it was so fucking boring. So boring. <laughs> the other problem is with the pieces that I like and collect, a, uh, a cheap shitter isn't really going to cut it for me. So, I mean, you know, to keep the passion going, you buy another one. My problem is, 
for me to buy another one, what would I like in my collection? What would I, I, I'd really like to add a Breguet Type 20. I've owned a few of them before. That's going to cost me fucking 6,000 Aussie dollars minimum. Six, 7,000. I think, fuck, 7,000. It's painful. I'm not going to buy a fucking Steinhardt or a fucking, um, you know, a James McCabe and say, this is my new Patek. It's, they're fucking bullshit. For me, I got to buy quality things <laughs> and they're fucking expensive. So what do you do? My, my best advice is just, this happens. In life, we have things that interest us. And then things change and suddenly, you know, things are different. And um, I mean, I, I'm a bit like this when it comes to photography. I want to buy lenses. I buy all these lenses and then I think, oh, fuck. It just bought. So then I get, you know. So <coughs> I think the thing is, what do you do? I mean, this question is being asked here. What do you do when you find yourself disinterested with watches? Okay, well, just just take that as a bit of a break. You know, it's a bit of a siesta. Okay, just just take a bit of a break and enjoy. Just 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 take a siesta. Keep using your watches to enjoy them, but put them away. Just wear one. Put 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 the rest away. So you're kind of missing them. You know, like a. A girlfriend you haven't seen for a long time. As soon as you see it, you want to fuck her brains out. That's a bit like the watches. I put my watches away, and as soon as I get another one out of the safe, it'll it'll try and reignite that passion again. The other thing you can do is my advice is if you've built a good collection. See, I've always said it's quality over quantity. There's no point having twenty or thirty shitters. You're better off to have three or four good watches. So my answer is, okay, have good pieces. Then you don't really have, they're not compromises. You think, like, like in my case here, I would never sell my Reverso because it's just a piece of horterology. I can wear that with a dinner suit. I can wear that, I can wear that fucking anywhere I want to go. It's just so cool. I love it. My Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon, even though I may be disinterested in horology, I really love that piece. I, I, owned, I owned a couple, I sold it, and I desperately wanted one back. So I'd never, <coughs> I'd never put myself into that position by selling my, my Speedmaster again. So that's another keeper. The Explorer 2, that is a fantastic watch. Really, really fantastic watch, the Explorer 2. The Gold Sub, well, the Gold Sub is so much money. I may have to sell it because I may want to buy a sports car one day. I may want to run off with that beautiful Japanese, that new Japanese girl I met. I may, you know, it gives you choices. It gives you a chunk of money which you can have choices. Yeah, I'd love to keep it as well because it's just a, such a cool <coughs> fuck off sort of piece. But what I think is when you get disinterested, just my, my best advice is if you've picked quality pieces, you don't need to sell them off. You don't need to compromise and say, oh, let's get rid of, just stop, put it on ice, just mothball the collection mothball the collection for a little while keep using a piece like you can't just put them you've got to use have, have pick a piece that's a good daily wearer and i think with time you'll get enthusiastic to it and unfortunately you know one thing to re reignite it is by continually buying the next piece that really excites i love i love buying pieces we we like to consume things in this capitalist world we live in consumerism is cool but the problem is with my type of consumerism because i like quality watches a fucking thousand dollar shitter isn't going to cut the mustard so <clears throat> i mean they're fucking fucking expensive the watches i want are fucking four five six seven thousand fucking dollars you know they're, I'd like to get a Patek, I'd like to get a Patek 5196, but fuck, 20,000 fucking dollars, you know, stop, I don't want to get a loan, I don't want to get finance, stop, so, 
what I think is, if, if you find yourself disinterested, just take a break, but don't do anything rational, irrational. Sell the collection and just, 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 just mothball it, and come back to the hobby. I, I think that would probably be the best thing. Just mothball it, uh, and uh, come back to the hobby. You ask the question, do you buy, sell, settle, paint the walls? Okay, well, I think the thing is, enjoy that time away from it. Like, we're not always going to just be watchers, 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 watchers. You've got other things in life, like pussy. Pussy is a great thing to chase. I love pussy. I love pussy. So maybe the thing is, take a break from watchers. Take, you know, look into some other hobbies. Like, I've got a few hobbies, you know. What are, what am I? I'm I'm a modern day man. So so what's my hobbies? Okay. Watches. Definitely watches. You can see by my 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 bookshelf there. I love expensive luggage. I love love expensive luggage. Okay, that's another hobby. I love writing instruments. Quality quality writing instruments I really really like. I like men's accessories, clocks, cufflinks, you know, stuff like that. I like steam toys, Mamod Walesco. I like vintage Hornby O-Gage clockwork train sets. I love that. I, so many hobbies I've got. Photography, I love photo DSLR Nikon is what I, I, my, my genre is. I love, I love Asian women. I love Asian women. <clears throat> I love them, love them. <laughs> love Asian women. I love fine dining, eating out. So expensive Asian women. So I think the thing is this, horology, it's like anything. It doesn't have to be, yes, I'm only watches. Watches is it. You've got a, you've got a broad spro sc scope of interest. Yes, there are times that you will lose interest. And I mean, especially when you're a middle class guy, they're so fucking expensive to get the ones that I really want. So I think <clears throat> when you lose a bit of interest, step back a bit, don't sell your collection off, just mothball it and come back. And it's like, it's like seeing an old girlfriend. It can be great to have a break. It can make you more enthusiastic. So that's what I think the answer is. So um, it's a very interesting question because I fucking, I have had that same problem. i got to be honest, people think I love watches, love watches. But, <clears throat> you know, my passion for things, it, it, it goes up and down. And sometimes I just got so fucking bored with, with watches. I, I mean, I, I got the things I wanted. I, I wanted a, a real big fuck off piece, the gold sub. So I've got a Hort Horology, which I'm wearing. Speedy, Explorer 2. That's nice. Those are four really good pieces. I'd love to add a, um, a Breguet Type 20. That's a really cool piece. And I'd love a 5196 Patek. But that, they're serious fucking coin. They're fucking dear. So... Just step back a bit, Archie. Step back. Step back. Step back. Slow down. Slow down. And, you know, come back to the hobby. Because I do love watches. I, I, I really do love watches. And <clears throat> I look back in the past where I've sold things off, mainly due to financial circumstances, and I always miss them. So I, I really wouldn't wouldn't advise just selling it all off. I mean, just, unless you're really pushed financially. But um, enjoy the time out and come back to the hobby again. That's, that's the best way I'd take it. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. This has been a segment for my sponsors, Bazalus, Bazalus.com. And I would just like to say thank you so much, Bazalus, for becoming a major sponsor on the Archie Luxury channel. I really, really do appreciate it. Archie Luxury and Bazellus, two of the top watch media forums in the world. See you later, fuckers.